Hello once again audience, I am Twins Playtech and this is another Europa Universalist 4 Empire Showcase. Yes, that is right guys. Today I will be showing off my knight game. Um now yeah, so I started as the knights and I decided to form Jerusalem. Now if I really wanted to, I could have done Greece as well. But you know, I'm I did already do a Greece game a while ago. Uh, it was actually the Cyprus this time. Uh, is that that time, should I say? Um, and I wanted to, you know, didn't want to do the same similar sort of thing. I mean, it, it was sort of still similar here, but it was a bit different, you know. Like it was honestly, it was a bit harder as well because um, the knights had to take Cyprus first and then get to there, and of course to go through Cyprus, you had to wait for the Mamluks to die. Which was painful. Um, I have done pretty well this game. I got 271,000 ducats in the bank, as is usual. Uh, I normally tend to have a lot of money towards the end of the game because I can't be bothered to spend it all on buildings. I also have about 800k manpower with uh, max, about 40, 43, uh, 43,000. Sailors, God, I can't speak today. I am actually gaining a little bit of that because I am making 23 ducats a month off of gold. Um, yeah, because of Kaffa. There it is. It's a pretty solid province, that's why. And it's also a state because. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly today. But it's also actually a state because I had a, uh, what should we call it? Yeah, K00, that's basically just a code for a client state. See, one of these. Uh, but yeah, um, I have expanded quite far. I've gone all the way down into India. Like, and I mean, all the way into India. And I also have land over here in the Netherlands because I got Holland under a personal union. I also got the Commonwealth under a personal union as well which very very helped. It so helped. It was so good. It, not, that I could just conquer Russia without like a second glance. <laughs> and of course Russia is mostly Catholic now and has been pushed back to Siberia. Um, I do have most of Africa, uh, it's just that it doesn't look like it because I haven't colonized any of this. I didn't colonize any of it, so, because I didn't take any colonization ideas. Oh, I also do have max tech, which is beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I took religious, of course, because, as I said, I was playing as the knight, and this land starts off as Sunni and Orthodox and no Catholic, as well as my original nation, uh, my original nation, my original province also didn't have, also didn't actually have my religion, it's naturally Orthodox, it starts off as Orthodox. Um, I then took nice quality ideas, because it's pretty sweet. And influence, quantity, humanist, trade, diplomatic and offensive. Humanist is so good for getting rid of rebels, my dude. Uh, as you can see here, I currently make almost 18 papal influence a year, which is ridiculous. It is actually so, so good. Because of it, I have 63% mercantilism, and I'm not even focusing on that. I've held, I've held the Curia for like, probably like over half the game, probably maybe four-fifths of the game has just been me in charge of the Curia, um, which has been very good with its manpower benefits and everything. I do actually have Brazil, uh, which I took from, what did I take it from? I took it off somebody, uh, so I do have the culture, the culture will probably tell us. Um, no, no I don't, never mind. Oh well, uh, I do actually have, see, I do have du Dutch La Plata here, which is because I had the Netherlands. 
well, I say Netherlands, but they weren't actually the Netherlands. As I said, it was just Holland. The Netherlands was wiped out, if I recall. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, like no one, no one can beat me. I'm top of the leaderboard by a mile. We look here, see, closest is Russia, who I've already smashed multiple times. Russia, who also, mind you, is quite substantially into China. Uh, Queen was actually very, um, Queen. Ming was actually very big, as you can see here. They own, like, all of this, and then Russia's just come along and just, and just slaughtered them. Um, Hindustan was actually quite large as well, until I decided to come along. Uh, they had all of this land all here. So, yeah, get it fast to you well. Um, Russia also, just, just showing you. I, of course, I have revoked a few cores here and there on theirs, because it's always nice to revoke a few cores, because it gets you a bunch of prestige. It does, true fact. Wait, what the... I'm... what? I'm not even gonna question that. I actually don't even know how that got there. Let's just get rid of it. That is kind of weird. Actually, wait, was that...? No, I don't know. Anyway, um... I don't, I'm not even gonna ask about that. Uh, so yeah, we got... still got a bunch of power projection from slaughtering the Russians. Uh... I haven't really used any policies to I don't tend to <sighs> Sorry. Mm. I don't tend to use policies, it's not really my thing. Uh no sports, got a bunch of devices, course focusing and administrative power because you need lots of admin late game. I actually have eleven uh diplomatic reputation, which is pretty damn good. I uh, got fit all oh, 56 ideas, and oh right, yeah, actually, um, I forgot to uh, change the difficulty setting on this game, so it's actually on hard. <laughs> um, I didn't actually realize this till quite a way through when I was playing it. Uh, specifically because I was looking at the score, and I noticed that it says that <laughs> it's on hard difficulty, so it's actually plus 25 percent. Um. Didn't want to question that, you know. Uh, never question a good thing. Well, it wasn't really a good thing, but never question something that gives you more score points, am I right? Because, as we all know, when you play EU4, it's all about that score, though. Anyway, um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, Australia, of course, is formed under Great Britain. Great Britain has been doing okay. Uh, yeah, Aragon's absolutely wrecked them. Andalusia was actually a thing for a while. It was a large thing, actually. As you can see here, I took a bunch of their shit here. Um, but Andalusian was a thing for quite a while. Uh, they just sort of chilled now, just in that one ex-Portuguese province. Portugal does still exist, mind you. Um, well, I say exist, but... Not a lot of existing going on there. Uh, what else? <sighs> Sorry, I, I went to sleep late last night, of course, because I'm a rebel. Um, uh, but yeah, um, Aragon's actually very powerful. I am allied to them. Uh, they do have a personal union over Hungary as well, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Brandenburg, Bohemia, uh, Bohemia was large, but this, they lost all of this land, all of this land here, as you see, all this Brandenburgian land was theirs, and a bunch of this Augsburgian land was theirs, and Unsbach took stuff as well. Um, sadly, I was sort of, I'll be honest, I was actually sort of cheering Bohemia on, even if they are hostile to me, I'd also have an alliance with France, as well as Aragon. Uh, and also paper states because, of course, 
that 17 papal influence modified by plus 97 percent you know always pretty useful then i mean purple states has like 70 over 70,000 men which is considering that there are only like this many provinces it's actually kind of impressive <laughs> they have as much as like aragon's main army although i feel that they do have this one here but just ignore that one 3713 that's a that's a great template right there my, pretty much the template for every single one of my armies is a 10 for 10 as you can see here uh, I have a lot of them <laughs> I do have 960,000 out of a possible 1,235 men and I do have 556 out of 642 of that 15% discipline 30% Defensiveness, 4.0 tact military tactics, 31.6 siege, and 40 combat width. I probably should have increased the whole, uh, the cavalry a bit size a bit more on these, but just, uh, well, too late now. It's February of the last year, so <laughs> couldn't get a lot done anyway. Um, I'd say, uh, this game has been pretty fun. Uh, this is actually, it's, it's this... A tip is, the quicker you see, um, my next game of E4 uploaded, <sighs> the quicker you see my next game of E4 uploaded, uh, when it's not, uh, bet in between a, uh, pat um, a DLC, the quick, the quicker you see the difference between there, is the more that I like the game, and when, when did I upload my last one, like a week ago, maybe? Let's see, oh no, two weeks ago. It's not too bad, probably one of my quick ones, to be honest, recently. Um, but yeah. I, I'll be honest, once once you get, like, out of this situation, once you get off of roads and onto the mainland, you actually get get pretty good. Though I, I did have the Ottomans and the Mamluks and the Quarakon Lulu for that fact declare on me several times. Um, unlike most games, this wasn't a purely offensive war, uh, offensive game, I did have to defend quite a bit, which did delay me substantially in this area, as the Ottomans were very annoying. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was quite annoying, but, you know... I ate their land, so I'm not going to complain too heavily. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think that just about wraps it up here. Also, 12 merchants, of course. Um, but yeah, so I've been Twins Play Ticket. This has been my Europa Universe Sport Empire Showcase. I hope you have enjoyed. Please be sure to, you know, if you enjoy it, just to show a bit of love by hitting that like button. Uh, you don't have to, again, it's just optional, you know, it just gets my channel out there, you know, helps other people to see just how much of an amazing, genius person I am, you know, and also how humble I am as well, of course. Um, uh, what else? Yeah. See, of course, you know, if you want to get a bit more updates, you know, always feel free to just subscribe, I've got 61 subscribers right now, that's actually not too bad, considering how low I upload, so yeah guys, um, I guess I'll see you folks next time, peace.